Hi everyone, I am Alessandro Umbrico, a researcher of the National Research Council of Italy, and I present a joint work with other colleagues from CNR and colleagues from Intrasoft and the Laboratory of Manufacturing Systems and Automation from Greece. Cyber-physical systems are central in the development of modern production systems towards Industry 4.0, the key objective behind such systems is to enhance the capabilities of, of productive entities and by fostering an ever tighter integra integration of artificial communication and computational devices with physical processes and entities. In this regard, we are particularly interested to an anthropomorphic view um, of cyber-physical systems where workers collaborate and make decisions supported by technology. If such a view is clearly crucial, the human factor and the development of novel skills and that are necessary to allow workers co to coexist and effectively use novel devices and technologies. In other words, this view should support a change in the production paradigms where the technology and also production dynamics should account for workers' skills and features and not necessarily vice versa. Our research objective is to realize and achieve a symbiosis, a symbiosis between workers and artificial systems in order to, on the one hand, improve flexibility of production systems and, on the other, enhance working conditions of human operators. For example, indeed, technology, especially intelligent technology, could represent a mean to facilitate workers in productive to be productive by increasing, for, for example, their skills and their comfort or, or also by properly dealing with aging issues or, or experience. Clearly, the achievement of such symbiosis is not straightforward and presents uh, several open research issues. A couple of these issues concern the design of novel interaction strategies between workers and technology, or the production system as a whole, and the design of novel control approaches that are capable of dynamically dealing with heterogeneous skills and features of workers in conjunction with changing production needs and, and requirements. <clears throat> to support these two points, in particular, we here propose the integration of artificial intelligence and augmented reality in order to personalize collaborative processing and human system interactions. On the one hand, we propose uh, augmented reality as a means to enhance human working experience by showing personalized instructions and contextual knowledge about a production task. On the other, we propose the use of artificial intelligence as a means to push a uh, user-centric methodology and thus personalize the behavior of collaborative robots and, so to say, the, to shape the production processes to the specific skills and interacting features of workers. <clears throat> this work has been carried out within the European H2020 research project share work. And broadly speaking, the aim of the project is to design and develop novel technological solutions that increase the intelligence of production systems and achieve a smoother and more flexible process and collaboration. Particular emphasis is put on the development of cognitive capabilities that allow <clears throat> a collaborative cell to interpret data from sensors in order to track workers, detect human tasks, understand what is going on into the cell, and dynamically adapt collaborative processes and robot behaviors accordingly. Here uh, we can see a general overview of the main technological modules develop developed within shared work. Uh, here are some modules responsible for providing the system with the cognitive capabilities necessary to pr pr process sensory data and build useful abstractions in shape of an internal knowledge base. Other modules concern the adaptive control of collaborative robots uh, and their collaboration with human workers. Such modules leverage the internal knowledge to synthesize behaviors that are contextualized with respect to the known actual state and production needs of a cell. Other uh, modules specifically focus on the safety aspects of the collaboration and design novel technologies that achieve safer interactions and reduce the risk of collisions. And the last set of modules then develop novel system human and human system interactions to support different communication modalities that can be dynamically adapted according to user preferences and production needs. 
And so here, here we can see a more detailed view of the modules uh, that mainly support personalization and how they are integrated. Module 9 here, as we will show next, support the interactions within the human and the system through augmented reality, as I mentioned. It provides the user with uh, authentication functionalities that allow the system to notify the, the user that is actually working on the cell and receive as well as visualize information about production process and assigned tasks. Module 1 is the central knowledge base of the system and encapsulates all the relevant information about known workers, features and skills, for example, as well as knowledge about robot capabilities, production goals, tasks and all, all, and all overlive constraints. Module 6 then is responsible for the synthesis of collaborative processes and the coordination of human and, and robotic tasks. First, these modules synthesize uh, collaborative plans that are personalized to the workers, uh, to the worker skills uh, and robot capabilities, and uh, uh, ex by extra extracting production procedures and constraints that are encapsulated into the knowledge base. Then the module executes such plans by dispatching task requests to the human interface module and to the robot motion controller, and by adapting plans according to the received feedback and the observer state of the environment. Concerning the knowledge, uh, be, knowledge base, we pursue an ontology-based approach presented in, in the previous work, which supports the semantic representation of a production scenario from different correlated perspectives that we call context. Here can be seen uh, the general structure of the ontology and the context categorizing the different perspectives. Without entering into the details of the defined concept and properties, the model supports a flexible representation of production dynamics and interpretation of sensory data. If it indeed supports the complete description of production environments, robot capabilities and human skills, as well as production process and related operational constraints. It also supports the contextualization of low-level tasks called, that we call functions um, that the human and the robot can perform according to their known capabilities and skills and to, to the known production needs. In this work, we have extended the ontological model to further characterize the human factor context with the aim of better describing worker-related knowledge. Here can be seen an example of the graph-based structure of the defined knowledge base and a taxonomical representation of the main concept defined to characterize workers. This concept models the variables that compose the so-called user profiles and aim at characterizing aspects that are relevant with respect to the synthesis of collaborative processes. Two sets of features I have in particular considered. One set concerns the physical body of a worker and concerns aspects that can be monitored during the production life cycle, like exam for example the ergonomics, uh, the half rate, and, and thus the physical effort of the or the mental fatigue of a, of a user, of a worker. And another set concerns the worker behavior and concern in particular main, mainly performance level aspects of a worker that can be monitored over time, like for example, the average accuracy that a worker has on, on, this, on the task that he, perfor he performs or the average execution time on ta of tasks. So the key point here is to model uh, all the aspects that are relevant to reduce the uncertainty about the possible behaviors of a worker during the collaboration. Knowing better how a particular worker will behave, it is, it, uh, it is possible and allows to better optimize a collaborative process and synthesize more effective collaborations. For example, knowledge about the expertise level of a worker can be used to make assumptions about the reliability of known performance. <clears throat> we thus use this information in combination with the known average duration of task execution in order to infer expected duration bounds of the task that can be performed by a worker. Workers with low expertise led to a higher uncertainty about task duration and has a wider interval duration of task execution. On the contrary, high, exper high expertise lead to low uncertainty and more consolidated 
average duration that will lead in this case to a tighter duration interval. So knowledge is used to automatically synthesize task planning models supporting an effective coordination and optimization of human and robot behaviors within different production processes. Uh, the, develop, the developed task planning model relies on timeline-based planning, which is a temporal planning formalism we have already applied in, to human-robot collaboration. Uh, in general, timeline-based model describes temporal behaviors of a number of domain features that should be properly synchronized uh, to achieve complex objectives. The main const constructs uh, are the state variables and the synchronization rules. State variables describe possible behavioral single domain features, for example, the production task a robot can perform over time, while synchronization rules model global behavioral constraints that are necessary to synchronize the behavioral different state variables and the different features over time. So these rules are, for example, used to model production constraints of and task decomposition. So a timeline-based task planning model is automatically generated from the knowledge base, and this supports a dynamic contextualization and adaptation of the task planner model to the actual needs of the production scenario, as well as the capabilities and skills of robot and the, and the human. Indeed, the state variables of the robot and the worker will contain all and only uh, and the production tasks they are actually able to perform according to the knowledge base. In particular, the duration constraints of the tasks that are part of the worker state variables are set according to the known profile, and therefore the interval duration will be larger or tighter depending on the expertise level of the worker in, in order to synthesize plans that are reliable with respect to the uncertainty about the worker behaviors and limit the need for online replanning. In this context, the interaction module further support personalization by providing workers with a multimodal interface that allow them to interact with the system in different ways. A worker indeed can either use sense, senses, sense like uh, vision, hearing or touch in addition to more classical modalities based on actions like for example gestures or voice commands. During the execution of a task plan, this module retrieves and provides the user with contextual information about the process. The presentation of such information can be personalized according to, again, user profile. For example, novice user would need uh, an increasing level of details in the received, received instruction, while experienced user would prefer to receive less detail about tasks they know well. Furthermore, the model receives uh, aggre and aggregates the uh, information at a different level of abstraction. As an example, the model shows to the user information about a segment production task with related instructions, and at the same time would show information about the production task the robot is supposed to perform and online visualize the motion trajectories it would, the robot will perform to accomplish them. So all such information aggregated and visualized through augmented reality allows to keep the user as much as informed as possible with, with online updated information while maintaining her focus on the working area and thus avoid, distra avoid distractions. Here we can see an image of the conceived collaborative production environment. On the left we see the worker equipped with the HoloLens that augment the hair field of view has shown on the right side of the figure and here and where he where we can see uh, the holograms providing the worker with detailed information about the task to be performed and the needed instructions and furthermore we can see here an ongoing deployment of um, the discussed module and the technology and, and technologies on one of the pilot cases of the shared work project we can see the collaborative Excel design to support the assembly of a variety of work pieces through different procedures and tools uh, given the high variability of the scenario is therefore crucial to the use of technologies that would support the worker by providing suitable and contextualized information here can thus see an image of an initial integration test of all techno technologies with a Gantt representation of the generated collaborative plan. And so this concludes my presentation and I thank you for your attention.